the Traveler, and of course this is Rocky the Traveler. Rocky, give me pop, give me pop, come on, good boy. You know, traveling with your dog is one of the greatest adventures one could ever have. But there are a few things that could make it a little bit harder. I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of traveling with your dog. So picture it, there you are with your four-legged best friend, ready to take on the world, pet passport in hand. And believe me, it's a wonderful world out there filled with tons of new scents, sights, and of course, food. And the world nowadays is getting more dog friendly with people considering pets as family. But before you and your pup can leave any paw prints in a new country, you should know that there are a few drawbacks to traveling with your dog. But of course, there are many more pros. I'll go over the cons now in this video. So, check it out. Now let's start with the most challenging part and that is the means of traveling. While there are many airlines out there that do let smaller dogs in, like chihuahuas and pugs, not many of them let the uh, bigger dogs go on board. Which unfortunately means that if your dog is among these bigger dogs, then it probably has to go down in the cargo hold. But fortunately the cargo hold in many airlines are now climate controlled. Of course, you could always just do what me and Rocky do, and that's just take a ferry, bus, train, or drive. But worry not, there are tons of pet transportation companies that will help you with your journey, uh, including all the paperwork and stuff like that. And speaking of paperwork... So even if you choose to not take an airplane into another country, there's still the likelihood that you'll have tons of paperwork the size of a rolled up newspaper to bring in to that other country. Each country has its own importation requirements when it comes to dogs or cats or mice or you know whatever, donkeys. If you happen to be in Europe and you want to travel around all 28 uh, member states then uh, you have the handy pet passport um, which includes you know of course the UK and all four of its uh, countries for the time being anyway. So once you got all that stuff out of the way, now you're ready to enter another country. But, before you bring out that camera and that bag of treats, you should know a few more things. Another con is that awful dreaded no dogs allowed sign. If we could, we would come up with a sign that says no no dogs allowed signs allowed. Even though Europe is known as being one of the most pet friendly continents in the entire world, there's still quite a few places that you're probably not going to be able to go into and I'm talking about cathedrals and museums and places like that, even some parks as well. So if you're traveling with your hound, just be aware that you'll probably come across these signs. The beauty of traveling with your dog is that you're going to come across so many people from all over the world who will either love your dog or, you know, maybe they might not be so friendly toward your dog. Uh, and just know that if you take public transportation with your pet, um, it's likely you'll get a few stares. But the trick is just to not really care that much and to just go about your business and, uh, you know, but be respectful and mindful of your surroundings and, you know, give people space. And um, you'll be, you'll be alright. Somebody's got to carry around all that doggy luggage, right? Well, if you're a fashionable pooch or if you're traveling around to, I don't know, to uh, Switzerland where it gets pretty cold, you'll probably have to pack a, uh, a jacket or two for your dog. And of course, that takes up a lot more space in your suitcase. So there you have it. Those are the cons that I could think of for traveling with your dog. It's not easy to travel with your dog, but it is worth it. Next week I'll be going over the pros of traveling with your dog. Stay tuned.